Yeah, it's always been part of my life. Now it's become my main business. This is my zen time. Marshall Sklar practically lives on his boat. I could pull up a big grouper. I could pull up a tile fish. I've hooked tuna. He loves being on the water so much. It allows me to turn my phone off, delegate all my tasks for the week to somebody else. He's made a second career out of it. This was my way of saying, hey, I have a solution to the dwindling supply of boat storage out there. So I started buying them up. Between my three boat storage facilities, we have close to a thousand tenants. Squar recently bought this land in Broward County. This is uh, the newest marina in South Florida, right in East Deerfield Beach. It's much needed boat storage space during a time when there's not much of it. Squar says boat ownership drastically increased during the pandemic, and that's a big part of the issue of available storage. So I've been in the boat storage industry for quite a few years, but we had over a thousand person wait lists at our other facilities. And when an opportunity came up to buy another place to store boats, I jumped on it. Squar says he gets calls from developers every week. Trying to buy my boat storage properties. Wanting to turn his marina into a high rise condo building or multifamily homes. I decline. I don't even typically discuss anything further than I'm not interested in selling. The growing lack of storage is also creating a shift in South Florida's real estate market. We're seeing that these South Florida waterfront properties are increasingly rare and even more valuable. Everyone wants a waterfront property with space to keep their boats, making cash offers once again rule the market. Yeah. 100%. Which is why realtor Megan Romine and yacht broker Bobby Giancola have started working together. And I can help my clients find dockage because there's a house here that, you know, they don't use boats. And so I can, they, they can rent that dock out. And that's not the only problem plaguing the boating community right now. Insurance rates are skyrocketing and experts I spoke with say inflation is a big part of it. It's similar to what we're experiencing in the housing market. Um, inflation is affecting a lot of things. It's the supply, it's the cost of labor. It's very much relative to what's going on in the housing market. Insurance agent Russ Dabu says his best advice for hopeful boat owners right now is to do your research. A lot of people will go ahead and fixate on the boat, figure out what they want, and then they'll come get the insurance and then it'll be a lot more than they want to pay. It's a series of waterfront issues that boat owners like Sklar, the challenge of the unknown, are just hoping will turn around sooner rather than later. You know that if you take away the storage aspect of what we love doing, we have no other options left. I'm Contact 5 consumer investigator Jessica Bruno, WPTV News Channel 5.